this is nothing but the continuation for the last video class okay now in the last video class i told you about this uses of regression analysis and regression lines okay regression lines i'm just going to reveal the thereby you can be in a position to understand easily okay now if we take the cause of two variables x and y we shall have to do regression lines as the regression of x and x on x and y x on y and the regression equation of y on x now when we take into account the regression lines these regression lines will be of two that is x on y and y on x this is about the regression lines that we come across okay now we have to take into account this okay that is one variable will be an independent variable and one variable will be a dependent variable <clears throat> when we take into account the x variable x variable is one time it will act as a independent variable and one time it will act as a dependent variable so thereby you will come across two equations okay the regression line of y on x gives the most probable values of y for given values of x and the regression line of y on y gives the most probable values of x for given values of y when there is either perfect positive or perfect negative correlation between the two variables that is r is equal to plus or minus 1 the two regression lines will coincide that is we will have only one line the farther the farther the two regression lines from each other the lesser is the degree of correlation and the nearer the two regression lines to each other the higher is the degree of correlation if the variables are independent x is zero i mean r is zero then the lines of regression are at right angles that is parallel to ox and parallel to oy axis so this is about the regression lines that we come across now we are going for regression equations these are the very very important equations that we come across okay and depending upon the regression lines we'll have two regression equations one is regression equation of x on y and regression equation of y on x these are the two things that we come across now regression equations also known as estimating equations or algebraical expressions of the regression lines since there are two regression lines there are two regression equations the, reg the regression equation of x on y is used to describe the variations in the values of x for given changes in y and the regression equation of y on x is used to describe the variations in the values of y for given changes in x okay now we are going for regression equation of x now y on x here people they get confused okay there is no necessity to con get confused please okay the first one is always a dependent one and the second one is always a independent one here in this equation x is independent and on x y is dependent y values they will depend that is if you know the values of x automatically you can be in a position to calculate the y values okay this is about regression equation of y on x the regression equation of y on x is expressed as follows y is equal to a plus bx where a and b are nothing but the parameters already i told you that they are nothing but the constants and we have to find out the constant values when we come across this constant value automatically whatever it may be the x value by substituting this okay automatically we are going to get the y value so here in regression analysis equations you have to find out the equation equation that's all there is the matter and when the values are when the problems are given 
we have to take into account the x values and basing on the x values and substituting the x values in the equation that is y is equal to a plus bx okay so automatically you are going to get the y variable in this equation a and b are constants which determine the position of the line completely these constants are called the parameters of the line okay if the value of either or both of them is changed another one also it will change another line is determined the parameter a determines the level of the fitted line the parameter b determines the slope of the line the symbol yc stands for the value of y computed from the relationship for a given x value so here the equation is yc is equal to a plus bx okay yc is nothing but the computed values for the a given x values okay and when you take into account yc minus y will always be the sum of yc minus y will always be zero you have to keep that in your mind if the values of the constants a and b are obtained the line is completely determined the method of least squares this is a very very important thing the method of least squares which states that the line should be drawn through the plotted points in such a manner that the sum of the squares of the deviations of the actual y values from the computed y values is the least or in other words in order to obtain a line which fits the points best best sigma y minus yc should be minimum such a line is known as the line of best fit so you have to use you have to use the method of least squares in order to get the line of best fit okay now a straight line fitted by least squares has the following characteristics what are the characteristics that we come across first one it gives the best fit to the data in the sense that it makes the sum of the squares to sum up the squared deviations from the line that is sigma y minus yc square smaller than they would be from any other straight line this property accounts for the names for the names least squares okay so when you come across sigma y minus yc square it will be minimum it will be minimum that's why we have to take into account the least squares method okay now second property second characteristic the deviations above the line equal those below the line on the average this means that the total of the positive and negative negative deviations is zero or sigma y minus yc is equal to zero so the positive values as well as the negative values they'll when you take into account when you total them automatically you will come across zero that is sigma y minus yc is equal to zero the answer you will get is sigma y minus yc is equal to zero the straight line goes through the overall mean of the data that is bar x and bar y completely we have to take into account the arithmetic mean of x series and as well as arithmetic mean of y series when the data represent a sample from a large population the least squares line is the best estimate of the population regression line okay so when you are taking into account the population and when you want to see the average relationship which method is useful the method of least squares is best fit okay thereby you will come to know about the population relationship with a little algebraic In differential calculus, it can be shown that the following two equations, if solved simultaneously, will yield values of the param parameters a and b such that the least squares requirements is fulfilled. Okay, when you take into account, okay, algebraical expressions and differential calculus items, automatically you can go and find out the a value as well as b value. thereby you can be in a position to know the best fit line okay best fit line that which line we is best fit fit for the data to draw 
Okay. Sigma y, now we are going for the least stress forms. Sigma y is equal to n a plus b into sigma x square, and sigma x, not x square, b into sigma x. That is first equation. The second equation is this. Sigma x y is equal to a into sigma x plus b into sigma x square. This is the second equation. Here we'll call generally we'll call these two equations as normal equations. And these two normal equations you will come across in least squares method. Okay, in the least squares method, you will come across these two normal equations. And when you take into account all these x values and y values, okay, and bar x value and bar y values, automatically you can be in a position to calculate sigma x as well as sigma x square. Once if you can calculate this sigma x and sigma x square, automatically you are going to get the parameter values, that is A and B. These equations are usually called the normal equations. In the equations, sigma x, sigma y, sigma xy, sigma x square indicate totals which are computed from the observed pairs of values of two variables x and y, that is, Whatever it may be, the variables, the whatever it may be, the data that we come across, we can able to calculate sigma x, sigma y, okay, sigma x square, sigma x y, okay, all these things you can calculate. And by substituting these values in the equation, normal equations, you can be in a position to understand, or you can be in a position to know the paramount, uh, the parameters values, that is A and B. Once if you get these parameters values automatically you can be in a position to calculate the computed y values where taking into account the regression equation of y on x mind it regression equation of y on x okay regression equation of x on y here ulta that is we are reversing here x is dependent variable and y is independent variable Okay, whatever it may be, the procedure will be one and the same. Here you have to take into account bar x value, bar y value, and sigma x value, sigma y value, sigma x square value, sigma x y value. All these things are common. All these things are common. The thing is, we have to obtain the parameter values. Once if you get this parameter values, automatically you can be in a position to go for the Calculated x values, mind it. Calculated x values. So, the regression equation of x on y is expressed as follows: x c is equal to a plus b x. Sorry, x c is equal to a plus b y. Okay. In previous class, we have taken y z is equal to a plus b y b x. Here, we have to take into account x c is equal to a plus b y b into y to determine the values of a and b the following two normal equations are to be solved simultaneously that is equal to sigma x is equal to n a plus b into sigma y second one is x y is equal to a into sigma y plus b into sigma y square. These are the two things that we come across when we go for least squares method. Thereby, you can be in a position to know the regression equation of y on x and x on y. So with this, I'm closing and tomorrow I'm going to take the further steps or the further procedures that we come across in this. Thank you.